본문을 듣고 따라해 보세요. Join hands. Save the earth. It is important for us to find ways to protect the environment. Some people have found creative ways to save the earth. One example is an underwater museum in Cancun, Mexico. Let's meet Dr. Rosa Allison, an art professor, and listen to her explanation about the special museum. Cancun is a city where 4.8 million tourists travel every year. One of the most popular activities to do there is looking at the area's beautiful sea life underwater. However, Tourist activities are seriously damaging parts of the sea near Cancun. To prevent this, artists did something interesting. They thought if they attracted tourists to a different part of the sea, The dying areas could have time to get better. They made an underwater museum away from the places where sea life was dying. It's about 14 meters below the surface and contains 500 statues. The statues are made from materials that support sea life. They provide additional places for plants and animals to live on. Over time, many types of sea life will grow on the statues, which will make the artwork unique. The artists want people to see a variety of sea life on the statues. If people realize how rich sea life is, they will understand how important it is to save the sea. In Singapore, People are using architecture to protect the environment on land. Let's hear what Rajesh Khan, an architect, says about eco-friendly buildings. Singapore is hot throughout the year. Most buildings need air conditioning, which uses a lot of energy and contributes to climate change. That's why architects in Singapore have begun to design eco-friendly buildings that use less air conditioning but are still cool inside. For example, many buildings in Singapore are designed to have an open structure. This structure makes it possible for outside air to move throughout a building.
This natural airflow is how these buildings stay cool. In addition to making open structures, architects add large gardens. This greenery provides shade and protects parts of the building from direct sunlight, which keeps the building cooler. Eco-friendly buildings like these not only help protect the environment, but also provide people with a good quality of life. Those are the goals of this new style of architecture. Hopefully, architects will keep coming up with new eco-friendly ideas. Every field has different ways of protecting the environment. With more innovation, humans and nature will be able to live together in harmony far into the future.